Hey sunshine, I'm back with another bullet journal monthly setup for you. This month we're representing the zodiac sign of Cancer with some of our design choices. Cancer's colors are white and yellow. White is already represented by the paper and I chose yellow as one of the main colors for the design this month. But since we had yellow in June as well, I switched up the background colors to include pink and blue. There are two flowers associated with the zodiac cancer, which are water lilies and magnolias. And I thought magnolias would be perfect to create a border around our title on the cover page, as well as scatter throughout the rest of the pages for decoration. The quote I chose this month was said by Nelson Mandela, who was a cancer sign, and it is, it always seems impossible until it is done. And as usual, I created a symbol combining the glyph for cancer and the symbol for the element of water underneath the quote. To add a pop of color to the cover, I dipped the tip of my Tombow markers right into a drop of water. You only need to hold it there for a second. The tip of the marker soaks up some of the water, allowing you to color with an extremely pastel version of whatever color the marker is. The more you color, the more the water runs out and the regular ink starts to flow, so the color gets darker again. It makes it easy to create a faux watercolor effect without using any extra tools. Admittedly, I chose blue and pink to accompany the yellow this month because I had it in mind that it would create a subtle pastel rainbow look as a nod to pride. But what I didn't expect is that this cover page ended up being just the right colors and placement to look like a pan flag, which was a happy accident in representing myself for Pride Month. Regardless though, I love the way the colors blend together and look so bright and cheerful despite being pastel. Oh gosh, what's that? I ripped my paper while removing the washi tape. I feel so betrayed. Washi tape is not supposed to be that sticky. It's okay, we fixed it though. Ah, much better. Admittedly, I ended up hating how the days of the week looked on the dark gray, so I ended up going over them again with black and writing the days in white gel pen, which you'll see in the final flip through.
felt like the top still needed more color, so I smushed some more on there using my fave plastic lunch bag technique. Oh, and yes, I reuse the same bag all the time so it doesn't create a ton of plastic waste. I was so excited to set up this productivity level board again. Honestly, I'm loving using it and it looks super cool once it's filled out. I plan on posting the finished June spread at the end of the month to Instagram, so be sure to follow me there to see how the spreads look when they're all finished. I want to take a second to thank my newest patron, Michelle. Welcome to the team. I'm super grateful for your support and I hope you love the bonus content and printables. If you want to see your name in the credits of every video, come join the team over on Patreon. I'll leave a link in the description below. The faves and memory pages are making a comeback this month. I skipped them for the last few months because frankly, not a lot of new or memorable things were happening in my life, but I thought it was time to give them another try. Last but not least, we have the first weekly of the month, which I kept to a super simple layout, just lines to divide each day with an extra space for notes or a shopping list or whatever you want. I added a pretty magnolia and more color splatter to the center to give it some flair. Thank you.
And that's it. Here's how all the pages turned out. As always, I'll have a full printable version of these spreads as well as phone and desktop backgrounds for my patrons to download. So be sure to check the link in the description if you want to grab those for yourself. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Thank you.